man that is born of a woman have but a short time to live. And it's cut down like a flower. He fleets as it were a shadow. And never continue in one state. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek but of thee, O Lord? Whom for our sins are judgment to believe. Yet, O Lord, God most holy. O Lord, most mighty. O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter past of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy mercy, merciful ears to our prayer. But spare us, Lord, most high, God, most mighty. O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us at our last hour for any plans, plans of death to fall from thee. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God, it is wise for thee to take out of the world, the soul of the departed. We therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come. So our Lord Jesus Christ, at whom Satan comes in his glorious majesty, to judge the world, the earth and the sea, shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty workings whereby he is able to do all things unto him. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, for henceforth blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so said the Spirit. For they rest from their labor. Lord, have mercy upon me. Christ, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. O merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom in the resurrection and the life, in whom whosoever believes shall live, though he did. And whosoever lives and believes in him shall never die eternally. We meet and receive thee, O Father, to raise up from the dead of sin and to the life of righteousness, that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him at the general resurrection, at the last day may be found acceptable in the sight, and receive thy blessing with which thou, well beloved son, shall then pronounce to all them that love and fear thee, saying, Come ye blessed children of my father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundations of the world. Grant this we receive, dear merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our mediator and redeemer. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. And to the family, don't think of him as gone away. His journey's just begun. Life holds so many phases that this earth is only one. Think of him as living in the hearts of those he's touched. For someone's love is never lost. And Reggie Stover was loved very, very much. On behalf of the staff and management of Crawford Fenner Home, let like present your family with this small token of love. May God be with each of you, and we love you. And Margaret, please accept this on behalf 
of your family, especially your mom. Thank you. And my friends, this does include the funeral service for Mr. Reggie Stover. We'd like to give a special thanks to Pastor Scott, to the Mount Calvary Avenue Zion Church family, to Pastor Stover, Pastor Wheeler, and to each of the ministers that took part in this service. My friends, the casket will be lowered, covered, and the flower will be placed as soon as possible. And we're asking you to please do not disturb anything upon this great site. On behalf of our staff and I, we'd like to thank you for your cooperation. And may God continue to bless each of you. And at this time, we would like to join the family on this side of the tent as we release a dove and have the benediction. So family, God will just follow me right this way. Let us pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Thank you. And family and friends, you may return to your cause at this time. And